career-defining victory. Hey, be brave. Hey, what? My friend. Watch, watch his legs. Watch his legs. My friend, last round. Muggers got to be careful. Okay. You're talking about early. Keep the uppercut hooked in my hand. But keep stepping around with the hook. Keep stepping with the hook, OK? Give it to me, man. They can't take this from you. Beat the shit out of them. Keep doing what you're doing. Be small. Be small. Don't stand up straight. That's right. Let me Move that hand for me. Bend on these a little bit. I know it's the last round. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Right now. Last round, baby. Be smart. Last round. Last round. Be smart. Don't get careless. You understand me? Don't get careless. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. In round 11, Campbell with a 33 to 11 edge and power connect. And they came out. Campbell slumping him. They started to, they did another 12th round like they did the first round. They came out, put their heads together, and started punching right away. Same way they just started out the fight. You know, Campbell them telling him, you know, don't take, I mean, taking the chances. He's still got to go out. He's got one point they took against him still. It still is a pro Mexican environment here. So, nevertheless, he still needs to try to win this round big. And so many of those early rounds was controversial. And Diaz is not a dangerous puncher. Well, that's one thing. If he took his punches for 11 rounds, it's very unlikely that Diaz is going to knock him out in the 12th round. Hey, 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 stop it, stop it. Man. Come on, come on, come on. There have been sledgehammer shots on both sides. Enormous intensity from the opening bell. Campbell facing the deficit in mid-fight of the penalty. After he was ruled to have butted Diaz, the real butt came in the first round. And we'll show it to you momentarily if we reach the final bell. Two or three rounds ago, it looked like Diaz had had enough and his corner was ready to pack it in. He was late getting off the stool. They were stool. They were procrastinating before they sent him out for the round to buy time. And he's still there in the 12th and final round throwing punches, Diaz. An amazing young fighter, even in apparent defeat. Come on, come on. From the center. Game fight. Game fight. Come on. Incidentally, one of the men who beat Nate Campbell in this division was Joel Casamayor. Cas Casamayor reportedly said that Campbell would win this fight. Well, I'll tell you what, the camera will be winning the fight if he fought Casamayor himself, too, right now, the way he looks tonight. You know, it's interesting. He's fought twice for the World Championship. Has always came up short. And now he's fighting, and finally looks like he's going to win the first time a World Championship. And I guess the guy that he probably had less of a chance looking at it on paper than all the other guys he's fought. Well, well, I mean, Campbell, is, Campbell has won this fight unless there are a knockdown that occurs right now. Whether or not the judges give it to him, it's pretty hey, clear hey, that he some, is the some, winner some, 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 here. Hard to imagine that they couldn't have seen clearly over the course of the past five rounds what's happened here. They're finishing it's, up just the way they started. Absolutely. Toe to toe. All the way down to the belt. Both fighters are lifted up. And as the blood flows from Diaz's badly mangled left eye, Campbell celebrates his terrific performance in the fight. A quick look at the events of the fight, beginning in round one, and here you're going to see the headbutt which first caused the cut on Diaz's eye. So that indeed was a butt, which first created the cut over Diaz's left eye. But there was no penalty at that time. It was only later in round six, when that punch opened the cut up further, but the referee, blocked on the other side of the action, ruled that it was a headbutt and deducted a point from Nate Campbell. From that point forward, however, Juan Diaz was a compromised fighter. And as he worried about the eye and tried to fight his way through the flow of blood and the swelling, his punch output went down, and Campbell was able to land more and more precision shots. I mentioned the inexperienced judging crew. Rick Bay's out of Florida, 39 title fights. 
notable fight. Clint Woods over Glenn Johnson in a spirited fight split decision for Woods. I see Don King is up in the ring. Bill Clancy, a referee from North Carolina mostly, only two title fights as a judge. Recently, Roy Jones over Anthony Hanshaw, not a difficult fight to score. And Jose Garcia, 24 title fights, only in boxing could you have scored 29 so-called title fights and not have had a notable fight up to this point. Harold, what is your scorecard? Okay, Jim, 115, 112, eight rounds to four, Nate Campbell. He do totally dominates the last half of that, of that fight. I mean, he won six rounds in a row on my card, clearly won six rounds in a row. I think he clearly won a fight, Jim. To go along with the inexperienced judges, we have a relatively inexperienced local ring announcer who has already proven tonight that he doesn't really know the proper sequence for presenting a score while keeping suspense. So if he does what he's done before, you may hear him telegraph exactly who has won the fight before he manages to conclude giving the scores. Don't be surprised, particularly if it's the unanimous decision. 36-year-old Nate Campbell with the fight of his life. He almost got into the championship realm in a fight against Robbie Peden when he was doing well against Peden and began showboating and at one point stuck his chin out and was knocked cold. Well, he didn't make that mistake he tonight. He didn't make that mistake tonight, did he? Now, no. what were you going to say about King earlier? Don King is up there verbally really going off on the referee. I mean, he's very upset, I think, because the referee took that point away which uh, Don felt that it was unfair because it wasn't an accident, but in figuring it, it may be a factor in the decision. Well, Don Nate has Campbell a, is his fighter. Yeah, I sort of say, Don, Don has and a dog in this hunt. Yeah. He's had an ongoing dispute with Juan Diaz, his manager, Willie Savannah. And that's putting Savannah in and uh, Diaz have made clear that they are leaving Don King uh, after this fight. They're finished with that contract, and they've made a lot of, or at least Savannah has made a lot of scathing public statements about King. King, for his part, put up signs at the weigh-in here expressing his side of the argument with Savannah and trying to claim the high ground uh, demonstratively, making it a big issue in front of writers and all media who are here. And King is a co-promoter of Nate Campbell, so it's pretty clear where his allegiance lies. Meanwhile, we still wait for the scores to be tabulated and for the, as I said, relatively inexperienced local ring announcer to prepare to deliver the scores. Now he has it. Let's go to Victor Perez to see who's won the fight. Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen. After 12 rounds, después de 12 rounds. Tenemos el score de los jueces. We have the score of the judges. El juez Rick Bays, Judge Rick Bays. Ciento catorce, ciento trece para Díaz. El juez Bill Clancy, Judge Bill Clancy. 111, 116 for Campbell. 111, 116 for Campbell. El juez Joe Garcia, Judge Joe Garcia. 112, 115, 112, 115 para Nate Campbell. So by split decision, the highly questionable judging crew manages, in our view, to get it right. And Campbell has his well-deserved victory over Diaz, and young Diaz, who was valiant as always, suffers his first loss. CompuBox numbers will heavily favor Nate Campbell because it was a landslide down the stretch. 
He lands 126 more punches. He throws almost 100 punches per round. And he winds up landing at a higher connect percentage as well. And the difference will be more exaggerated in power punches, where he lands 117 more, throws 171 more, and again lands at a higher connect percentage. Let's go to Max Kellerman with the winner. Congratulations, Nate, on an incredible fight. What a performance. You're obviously very...